um, I guess I'm gonna do my intro like this, guys. Haha. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me Paige, or Paris, whatever you want to call me, and welcome to another video. And the last time I was literally in this occasion, I think, I'm not sure if that's the last time, but you know. Um, I was making a makeup video. When you smile. If you don't know, before I made like this channel, I used to have a variety of beauty channel content. Let me change this angle. This angle makes my head hurt. Okay, I think this like angle is way, way friggin' better. I am still way invested into makeup. I think the brand I am the most invested into because of YouTube is Glossier. Glossier, Glossier, you may call it whatever you want to. Glossier is really expensive. Glossier is a very expensive brand, and the only reason why I like it is one, it looks aesthetic, and two, um, the brand is a very natural makeup feel. Okay, what I'm what I'm trying to say is that I never buy um, products that are only from like an online website, which Glossier is an online website. So um, Glossier has two actual like stay put type of stores, one in NYC and one in LA. And they have pop-up shops all the time. They had a pop-up shop in San Francisco. They had a pop-up shop in like many places. I low-key have no time to edit this video at this point. So the basic concept of this video is that I'm going to be using every single Glossier product I bought and had in the past on my face. Because, you know, I want to be really trendy. We love non-copyrighted music. Face wash. But okay, we're gonna wash our face with the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. So from like reviews from like YouTubers, I see like a lot of people don't like this. And um I see people like it, I see people don't like it. You can tell I'm really cheap and I only have the sample. Oh. Oh, it smells good. I'm just trying to squirt all of that, you know, ma'am. This is a PG channel. I literally got all of that stuff. I have the um, the face jelly thing on my hands and it feels so soft. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's no pretty way to wash your face on YouTube. Oh my gosh, my shirt literally is so wet. <laughs> Blush. We got the Cloud Paint Seamless Cheek Color in store. I mean, these are really cute. They look like little paint tubes. And I need to be careful because the last time I used this, it squirted all over my shirt. Not a bad color, boys and girls. It's actually pretty nice. What? <laughs> I think I'm making myself look like a clown. I can't even tell if I have any blush on. Okay, it looks like I blushed a little. <sighs> like, look, anyone will ever make me blush, but you know, um, I look like a cartoon character. Highlight. So I'm gonna use the highlighter, and I already owned this for a while, but I have a story why I don't use it. So this is a Holoscope in Quartz. So this is a highlighter with Shea butter in it, and I was very invested into this. I didn't like it for one reason. It is so hard to blend. Maybe it's different now. I don't even know. But um, that highlight's really good, isn't it? It really is. Um, We're just gonna try, because... We're just trying to make this video decent now. It's kind of working, kind of not. You can't. I don't know if you can see that. The product feels really nice to put on. It's very, it doesn't feel rough. Rough, I don't really. <laughs> okay, I think it worked. Oh, I forgot to put my nose. I love putting nose highlight. Like, I don't even know who I, like, got the idea from. But, um, nose highlight is my favorite. It looks like a fairy pooped in my nose now. Eyebrows. If no one knows about this about me, I do not do my brows. Um, my brows are all natural. A lot of people are surprised I don't fill it in with product. I don't whatsoever. And I decided to just buy a product for brows just to... I don't even know. I got the Boy Brow Grooming Promade and Brow Brun. Okay, so I heard this product is very... Very pigmented. I don't even know that's a word for brows, for like brow products. 
but I'm just gonna brush a little. Does it look like I did anything to my brows? Okay, I, uh, I th I'm not really sure if my eyebrows are crazy now, but. Eyeshadow. So I like this product a lot. This product is one of my favorite. And um, at first I didn't see the hype because I like pigment for eyeshadows. This eyeshadow doesn't have a lot of pigment. Oh, before I say anything more, I put the, the color Cub all over my lid halfway to my outer, my outer eyelid. And then I put the color Fawn on the outer part of my eyelid. And then I just mix them together and you'll, you're going to see why this product made me a little confused. So the first time I used this product, I was a bit confused why it was... I was literally just stacking on this stuff on my eyelids. And like nothing was showing up. It was just me blending it. It didn't really show much pigment and I was a bit upset and I was thinking I just wasted a lot of money. But um, I use this eyeshadow for school a lot actually because I want to go for a more natural look if I actually want to try for school. I would recommend this for people who want natural eyeshadow. Which um, not a lot of people are fans of natural eyeshadow which I get. But um, I see a hype with this. Like I could... Um, Glossier should really make more of these. They're very good. And, um, I wouldn't mind sponsoring this product. Mascara. So we're going to do mascara now, and I'm going to use the gen Generation, no. The Glossier Lash Slick Mascara. And this mascara is my absolute favorite because I have Asian eye lashes, and it makes my lashes somewhat pop. So every time I would, like, find a mascara that said, uh, oh, we can lift your eyelashes and stuff. And I would just get so much hope, but in the end, it literally doesn't do anything. It just makes my eyelashes look like a clumpy little poop turd. This mascara makes my eyelashes just look natural and very, um, like eyelashes, because you can't really see my eyelashes sometimes, which a little bit sucks, but, you know, that's life, man. I don't really, there's nothing weird to say. I just love this product a lot. Lip balm. Here is the mint one. The mint one just looks like what you would suspect a mint lip balm to look like. There's no color with this mint lip balm. It's just how it is. It feels, it feels like mint. It smells like mint. It feels very fresh, which I like. So we have the birthdaybomb.com. I I, I used to have this. I don't know where it went, but this is my favorite because it smells like freaking cake. It has hints of glitter in it. I like this lip balm. It's one of my, this is my absolute, absolute favorite. And, um, I was kind of sad I lost it, really. Newest bomb.com is the mango bomb.com. And I was pretty excited and... I was not disappointed. It smells like mangoes. It has a very coral tint to it. This bomb.com smells like, it literally smells like a mango haichu. The last one I bought was the cherrybomb.com. So I've been wanting to use this product for a while and I didn't buy it online for the first time because it has a red tint to it. And for me, red tints never look out on me. They look like I don't work well for lipstick. It doesn't make me look nice. And when I tried this product, I was I was very excited because I wanted to see if it'll work out. In which it does, because um it gives you a little oh my gosh. It gives you like a red little pinky tint. Oh my gosh. I, it's I like this one like um I did say I like the birthday cake but this is like one of my favorites I think just all in general like the bomb.coms are so good and it's um I love these like lip balms because it shows a lot of variety and it's not just like flavor it's like it gives you a little um little look for each one which I really like 
and um, not a lot of lip balms just give you a variety of looks and bomb, their bomb.coms are very popular and I'm not really surprised because this product is very well done. Lipstick. Now we're going to try the Generation G Share Matte Lipstick in Cake. The only reason I got this is because my best friend has this and it looks really good on her and it might not look good on me. But it's a very, this is a very pink little nude tone in which pink nude tones don't look good on me usually. But um, this, I don't remember. If I'm going to be honest with you. This product looks not even good on me whatsoever, but I still bought it anyway. Who knows why I bought it. You can't tell I'm wearing any lipstick, which, um, which I like because I don't really like wearing lipstick, but lip gloss. My face doesn't even look practically good, like compared to all the other YouTubers on earth, but, um, I'm going to use the Glossier lip gloss. This is my favorite freaking product from Glossier. It's. I love this product so much. It's not sticky. It shows a very nice little tone. It's, it shows, I love, I don't like lip glosses that much. But this lip gloss shows it's very, very mature looking, if you know what I mean. I'm a big fan of this lip gloss. I really am. So, Glossier and All is a makeup brand that's for, it's more natural looking. And my make it doesn't really look like I'm wearing any makeup and I'm probably just super insecure about myself. I look like an actual clown. So, I hope you guys like this video and I hate doing outros, but I hope you guys um, will buy Glossier products. Glossier products is like the hype and I really want people, I want more people to use it and, um, okay. Bye.